Hey, this is Dime Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm going to do a breakdown on a play that I have not been really using since like Madden 17, and I'm kind of hyped to have it back. So we're just going to do a little bunch against us. And we're going to go into the nickel 335 wide here. This three Sam will blitz, which I used to love this play. I'm running it very differently than I did before. So we're going to leave it with five routes. That's the thing. This blitz is for war when your opponent is sending five routes against you. So it's not a blitz that's going to work all the time, but watch how quick it is going to get in there. So pretty simple setup. We're going to shift the D-line to the left. And we're going to get on Wagner here and put him into a blitz. Move him down right in here. Then we're going to change the point of attack to slant a left by hitting left on the right stick. So you see there. So we want his slant. All right. Yeah, there. See, his slant went in that way. So you want his slant to be going that way. Then we're going to put him into a hook flat, our user here. See, so he was right over there. Uh, we're going to put him into a uh, flat, or vert hook, or whatever, hook zone, and then we're going to put hard flats on the field. And we're just going to hover him right here in front of the center, and watch how quick that guy's going to get right in there. Boom! <laughs> that fast. Are you kidding me? Look out again. Let's watch how fast he got in there. Sure point of attack strike, get him in a hook zone, hard flats. Get him right in there, hovering over the line. You got him, boom, there, and wow, he picked it up. But he had nowhere to throw to. Um, that's crazy. I can't believe he didn't get in that time. I don't know what happened. But he's like, point of attack, hard flats. Maybe I didn't have him in close enough. Right here, that is right in there. There we go. See, boom, he's going to fly right in. No one's going to be able to stop him. He basically does shed two guys, and they basically pass him off, I think. So... Like, here, take a look. There was two guys close to actually covering that blitzing guy who does get in there. But let's see. See, he run past the one, disengage at the tight end, who passes him off. And see, that guard doesn't pick him up. Boom, he's getting right in there, untouched like that. So that's when we're sending, you know, five at him, though, still. That's, you know, pretty heavy. So whenever the tight end is on a route, though, he's. he's 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 gonna get picked up by the running back though, and it doesn't work out as well. Here, I'll show you. Sending five. Here's the point of attack. Yeah. Let's, let's double check. See on the offense this time we're blocking the running back, and it's still watch. He's not gonna get in the same way as free. See, he does get picked up for some reason in this case with the guys. So. It just, you know, the pressure will get in there eventually. You are going to get a disengage, but it's not like when there's no, when there's, there are five rows being sent out here. Check it out again. Whoop. <laughs> in there just like that. He's just going to come flying in. So again, I'll go over that setup one more time. So you're going to shift your line to the left. You're going to blitz your middle linebacker. Then you're going to move him closer in here and shift the point of attack. So it's like that. And you get this going to be your user, David, and you're going to hover right in the line and you put them in hard flats. I don't think it matters with cloud flats. It's just because the pressure is getting in there quick. That's why I like the hard flats. It's an aggressive play. Cloud flats is more to cover a little bit deeper in the field. So I just, if you feel a little safer with the cloud flats, it shouldn't make a difference here. We'll try it again. Boom. Sending him in. Yeah, no. See, he's still going to get in free. So, I mean, maybe if he runs away and tries to put it up, having the cloud flats might help you a bit more. But more likely, I think they're just going to try to quick throw you on you or add some more blockers against you. So this play has been pretty deadly for me that's the best way you can set it up you know if you just let's say blitz uh and have cloud flats on the field it's still you know still still works right like still a good little coverage play and they're going to get in there fairly quickly still too just like that i just think that's the optimum way right like actually i think when 
they do start blocking and picking it up more you that's probably the better way to just uh, to run it to just just like that actually just keep everyone more in position blitz him and heart send your hard flats and boom see boom see what happens da, 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 da. It breaks down like that you know the other setup is just really for when you know they're sending a lot of routes if they're just sending you know normal blocking three four routes just send that because you should be able to get in there more more consistently at four or five seconds so i also have a bunch of gameplay footage with this play actually not a bunch some gameplay footage with this play that i want to show you guys now so let's take a look at that so it actually does a pretty good job against the run as well sees so trying to get the edge it does look pretty good on the outside it takes a nice user but we're able to stop him completely in the backfield there again here hits the black you know hits his own blocker and it isn't able to get to that hole stop him pretty much for a short gain again here i've got to get over to that side but my ai does a great job making a play stripping the ball loose getting that fumble you can barely even get free and Here we go. Again, my opponent backing up to throw the ball. He's able to get it off, but look at that. Perfect position. It looked like a cloud flat that time. He's able to make that I'm able to make that click and pick and grab the ball. Again, here I see my guy kind of looking over the middle. I actually have a I have a spy on the field as well, so not sending as many. I click him in and look at those two guys going at him. He's gonna make his way outside late and get the Look at that, and we can throw the ball, like, he can't even get rid of it as he goes out of bounds for a huge loss. Again, play action, gonna get in there so quick on him, right off the gut, see, that was, like, no adjustment. Here again, I'm getting over, and look how quick he gets right in on him, like, almost an insta-sack, getting, like, insta-sheds, it's, like, almost like a nano-blitz, nah, not quite, it's, like, a, not a nano, but we're gonna call it a giga-blitz, that's what we're gonna call it, we got a little, little giga-blitz coming at him here with the right situation, you can get it in there so fast, so try out this play, try out the 3-5 three, three, wide, mix it in there, if you're playing a lot of nickel normal, they might not notice it, you try to throw this one in at them, you should get some quick pressure, it's not something that you want to spam, but if you can get it in there, here and there, getting this blitz is... It's a fun one. It's fun to have in there. I like rocking something a little bit different that you have people haven't been seeing as much of. So try this play out. Let me know what you think. I've been Time Bomb. You guys have been awesome. I'll catch you guys later. Boom, boom.